What's going on everyone? So NVIDIA GTC is happening today and they announced their quantum research center to bring quantum computing closer. This is a huge shift from just two months ago when NVIDIA CEO said that quantum computing was 15, 20 or 30 years away. So we're gonna dig into what this means. And of course, Coco, my chief production officer over here is sleeping on the job. Apparently she thinks that NVIDIA's accelerated quantum research center is a little bit boring. She'll be here with us today and I am going to just jump right in. Um, we're going to cover a video that NVIDIA released today and we're going to talk about the research center. I've gone in and highlighted the article. So we're going to have a quick one today. Hopefully you find this useful and valuable. Integrating quantum processing units, QPUs into AI supercomputers is key key for developing new applications, helping unlock breakthroughs critical to running future quantum hardware and enabling developments in quantum error correction and device control. The NVIDIA Accelerated Quantum Research Center, or NVAQC, announced today at the NVIDIA GTC Global AI Conference is where these developments will happen. The NVAQC draws on much needed and long sought after tools for scaling quantum computing to the next gen of devices. The center will be a place for large scale simulations of quantum algorithms and hardware, tight integrations of quantum processors, and both training and deployment of AI models for quantum. Really love the images that NVIDIA has used in this post. Quantum computing innovators like Quantinium, Qera, and Quantum Machines, along with academic partners from the Harvard Quantum Initiative and the Engineering Quantum Systems Group at MIT Center for Quantum Engineering, will work on projects with NVIDIA at the center to explore how AI supercomputing can accelerate the path toward quantum computing. First reaction, this is huge and great news for quantum. You have the third largest company in the world by market cap, NVIDIA, making a major investment and play in quantum with quantum partners. And they have the best chips in the world that run the best AI in the world. And that is where you start to get into a situation of an exponential curve. Just as a, a thought exercise, let me just kind of draw something here. Okay, so quantum computers aren't new. And the research around quantum computers isn't new, which is perhaps one of the reasons why Jensen Huang and Mark Zuckerberg thought they were really far away. But if I had to guess what's happening, let's just kind of look at a chart. Um, and I'm gonna draw the chart and it's not gonna be good, I can tell you that. But I think what we've seen, if we go back 10, 15, 20 years, um, we've kind of seen slow progress, slow breakthroughs, and we're gonna hit this inflection point pretty soon where AI and quantum are going to have an intersectionality and we're gonna see an exponential curve, an increase quickly in technology that is made possible by AI and the hardware that we already have, so GPUs and CPUs. This tool, will be instrumental in ushering in the next gen of research across the entire quantum ecosystem. Quantum error correction provides a solution encoding noiseless logical qubits with many noisy physical qubits. By processing the outputs from repeated measurements on these noisy qubits, it's possible to identify, track, and correct qubit errors, all without destroying the delicate quantum information all without destroying the delicate quantum information needed by a computation. A key goal of the NVAQC will be exploring how AI supercomputing can accelerate this decoding, studying how to co-locate quantum hardware. A key goal of NVAQC will be exploring how AI supercomputing can accelerate decoding, studying how to co-locate quantum hardware within the center will allow the development of low latency, parallelized and AI enhanced decoders running on NVIDIA's Grace Blackwell superchips. Who makes the best, best AI chips in the world? NVIDIA. The best AI chips in the world are now being plugged into quantum research. You guys do the math. I don't even need to do it for you. The majority of useful quantum algorithms draw equally from a classical 
and quantum computing resource, ultimately requiring an accelerated quantum supercomputer that unifies both kinds of hardware. So I think what we're seeing here is the visualization that NVIDIA has provided of quantum working alongside Blackwell, NVIDIA's chips. That is very cool to see that NVIDIA is thinking the same way that a lot of all of us have been thinking that AI and quantum are friends. We're excited to collaborate with NVIDIA at the center, said the president of Quantinium. By combining Quantinium's powerful quantum systems with NVIDIA's cutting edge accelerated computing, we're pushing the boundaries of hybrid quantum classical computing and unlocking exciting new possibilities. We're excited to see NVIDIA's growing commitment to accelerating the realization of useful quantum computers, providing researchers with the most advanced infrastructure to push the boundaries of quantum classical computing. So, super cool news. And I'm in a drawing mood, so I'm gonna draw again. And it's not gonna be good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so GPUs, those extremely powerful, expensive chips that NVIDIA makes, CPUs, those chips we've been working on for decades, and QPUs, quantum processing units, will all work together in harmony and make a super duper computer. You saw it here first. All right, let's watch the video that NVIDIA released today as well. So as a large computing company, you might expect that NVIDIA would be interested in quantum computing. But in fact, the association goes much deeper than that. It's really in NVIDIA's DNA to care about quantum computing because we have a long history of enabling computing revolutions. NVIDIA is not trying to build quantum hardware. We're not trying to build qubits. We're not trying to build a quantum processor, but we are trying to build a device that will turn those qubits into a useful quantum computer. And we call that device an accelerated quantum supercomputer. Query is based in Boston, and we make quantum computers using neutral atoms. Starting at the very low level, quantum computing requires error correction, requires measurement, and then very fast decisions on what to do with the measurement. These decisions can be done by classical hardware like GPUs. An accelerated quantum supercomputer is a device that integrates quantum hardware with AI supercomputing. And you need AI supercomputing to solve the big scaling challenges that quantum computing faces. Challenges like error correction, control, and calibration. The second area that quantum and classical meet is in the area of simulation. Before people run software on a quantum computer, they often like to simulate it to make sure that it works. Simulation has always been a critical tool for developing computer hardware. NVIDIA GPUs undergo tens of thousands of simulations during their design. And it's a tool that will be just as if not more important in designing better quantum hardware. So really classical computers are instrumental or vital in all stages of the quantum development, all the way from the hardware up to software development and running the algorithms. Quantinium is uh, basically a company which does quantum hardware as well as quantum software and algorithms. One key part of quantum computing is developing software. And you can see, people always talk about a million qubits. Writing software for a million qubits is not easy. Software is just as important as hardware. And that's why we've built CUDA-Q. CUDA-Q is our software platform that allows users to seamlessly both access and control large-scale accelerated quantum supercomputers. Where NVIDIA is really useful is they also provide libraries, okay, which run on GPUs. So in the software development flow, as long as we need to develop software for quantum computers, you will have to have the NVIDIA technology there to develop those scaled qubits, and then you scale it to a larger number of qubits. Right? So 
We use it extensively in our development internally. I've seen what GPUs have been able to do in the last 25 years. And I think the next stage of adding quantum to this is going to bring all kinds of new uh, advances to science and to people. It's become clear that to be useful, qubits need to be brought inside accelerated quantum. All right. So this is super exciting. I think that NVIDIA positioning themselves as an ally and an enabler of quantum computing and as a disruptor to be on this frontier of quantum computing is an expert maneuvering. And I am more excited than ever to see the panel coming up on Thursday. NVIDIA, their best chips and the best quantum computers in the world are going to be used in unison to exponentially accelerate quantum research and quantum computer progress. That's my interpretation. What do you all think? Leave your comments down um, in, in the comments below. Let's talk about this and let's make some predictions on what we think is going to happen in the panel this week. And I hope you all found this uh, useful and good luck in the market tomorrow.